You know my first guest tonight from the Butler, a United Kingdom, and as the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Selma. He now stars in the film Gringo. Please welcome David Oyelowo. <laughs> Nice to see a man who appreciates the audience. They're very, That's very good. lovely. Now, I, uh... <laughs> Speaking of lovely, that's a nice beard. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yes, I'm cultivating this for a part I'm playing at the moment. Oh, are you going to play Santa? <laughs> <laughs> great Santa. Uh, I'm a few years away from that, I like to hope. Oh, no, yeah. I'm playing Javert in uh, Midsummer, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> um, Les Miserables, a, a uh, miniseries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. the bad guy. Yeah, the, the bad, bad guy. guy. No singing, though. No singing. It's uh, based on the Victor Hugo's original novel. We're doing that as a six-part miniseries. Yeah. Have you played a lot of bad guys? Not many. Not many, but yeah. I, 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 I have it in there. <laughs> it's not all good. <laughs> so how are you... Now, uh, I, I've grown a beard before. Right. Takes me a long time, and it's a, just a pain. Right. The whole time it's happening. Are you enjoying? Are you enjoying the beard? It's worth noting that how fast you grow your beard is a sign of virility. Oh, really? So, um, yeah, mine take, grows take... really fast. Oh, people. wow, wow. Um, <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, but also, beard hygiene is a is a is a big thing for Very me. Very important. Well, because I read I read a study that said they have found in some men's beard more bacteria than you would find in a public toilet. <laughs> So I shampoo, condition, and oil. Good, good. And you got the nice stroke down. Yeah, yeah. It makes you I seem did. extremely thoughtful. That's all, all I'm doing. It, 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 when you see Les Miserables, I'm, I just do this the whole time. <laughs> um, now, uh, we talked about this last time you were here. You were born in the UK. Yes. Um, your family's from Nigeria, and you went back there, and uh, you lived in Nigeria for part of your childhood, correct? That's right, yeah. yeah. Now, um, Donald Trump, when asked about immigrants from uh, several countries, one including Nigeria, mm. said, why do we have to have people from the whole countries? Mm. How, what is your reaction as someone whose family is from there, uh, who, who knows that place, I assume, you know, loves that place? What's your reaction when you hear that? Well, my first thought was anyone who thinks Nambia is an African country <laughs> knows nothing about African countries. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a very, very proud Nigerian, um, and uh, that statement can only come from someone who's never been there and is certainly ignorant of who I am and my people are. Yes. Well, speaking of who you are... Speaking of who you are, uh, one of the things we talked about the last time I was here, again, is that you were not born in Nigeria, but your family is from a Nigerian uh, royal bloodline. You are literally a Nigerian prince. I am. Okay. Yes. Yes. You can say that as many times as you want. You are literally a Nigerian <laughs> prince. Are, why aren't you the Black Panther? <laughs> or are you and you can't tell me? This is actually made of vibranium. Um, oh, so, uh, so oh. I am the real Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Chadwick Boseman, what I did for Dr. King, Chadwick Boseman is doing for me. That's basically... Oh, that's wonderful. That's basically... Well, it, it I, I, have you ever been to Wakanda? I hear it's very... <laughs> we should ask Donald Trump if he's been to Wakanda. I think it goes Wakanda and then Nambia. They're yes, right next yes, to they're right other. next to each other. Yeah, a lot of trade. As someone who is from Africa and is proud of his half African home country, uh, do you have any reaction of, like, why do we have to celebrate an African country that doesn't exist? Can't we get excited about one that does exist? But you know what? We've told so many lies about the Africa and the African countries that do exist that it's taken a fictional representation of it that is celebratory, sassy, sexy, powerful, to show the truth of what Africa actually is. Because that's what it feels like to be an African. Wakanda feels more true. It is. Wow. It is. The, the, the regality you see in that film, the mineral resources in that film, the Congo is one of the most minerally rich countries in the world. 
Colonialism is what made that country now the poorest country in the world. But those resources are still there. And you know, as an African, I'm basically here to do all I can to get that continent to be seen in the right way and to ultimately come to a place whereby it is the best it can be. And Black Panther is a beautiful depiction of how I see that continent. Well, in the new movie, uh, you got the, the new movie opening on the 9th, yes. uh, Gringo. Yeah. Um, uh, you, what's your character's name? His name is Harold Shoyinka, okay. uh, which is a, a Nigerian name. He's a, he's a Nigerian immigrant. Now, it wasn't originally a Nigerian immigrant. You, you no. chose to make it a Nigerian immigrant. Why? Yeah, well, he was written uh, originally as Harold Salinger. He was a, a white guy living in Chicago. I read this script. It made me laugh out loud. I wanted to do a comedy. Most people know me more, more for my dramatic work. And I sat down with the director, and we decided to make him a, a black character. And, and as we continued to discuss it, you know, he He's a guy who's very trusting, maybe a bit hapless, and I didn't want to just play him as a kind of a nerdy guy. I saw my parents going through uh, the obstacles of being immigrants to the UK, and there's something wide-eyed and hopeful about that, that, that disposition, and I wanted that to be in, in that character, and so I made the suggestion, and it just completely opened up, up the film. So he's not a stupid person, he's just a very trusting person, someone who actually believes in the American dream. Unfortunately, a lot of people take advantage of that. And we, we have a clip here. Uh, uh, my understanding is that your character, who's a lot of bad things have happened to him, he's yeah. sort of down and out, yeah. he decides to sort of rig a insurance scam about being kidnapped. Yes. And, um... Ill-advised, by Ill -advised, the way. Ill-advised, <laughs> ill-advised. And can you tell us what's happening in this clip right here? Do you know what it is? Um, yes. He is, uh, basically, th this pharmaceutical company that he works for, um, lied to him about his, uh, uh promotion, and now he is taking revenge on them by, pr uh, kid by pretending that he's going to be kidnapped, and, uh, like I say, he's about to, uh, realize why that's a bad idea. Jim? Look, I made a deal with Richard that if I sacrifice you, I can help. Sacrifice? You want to sacrifice thousands, you if not hundreds of thousands of underdogs? Oh, 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 you understand? <laughs> Harold. Ah, no, 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 Please, God, save me from, from this man. Please, I beg you, help me in my moment of need. Please, Jesus, please. Harold, nobody's coming in your moment of need. You really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? Me? I... I don't. I would believe in God in those moments, too. <laughs> <laughs> I I yes. Well, David, sure. thank you so much for being here. Always a pleasure. Lovely to see you again. Thank Good luck you. with Javert. Thank you. Get your man. Uh, Gringo is in theaters this Friday. David Oyelowo, everybody. We'll be right back.